Hey, hey, hello, Dean. Kyle. Hey, there he hello. is. How are you? Look, I'm at uh, I'm at Crosby Hop Farm. Oh, the hop farms. Well, yeah, that's so convenient. Right in your backyard. Right in wow. my. I wish I lived in Oregon. I think maybe. Maybe, maybe at this point, we're not sure. Um, how are you doing there in your world? You know what? I actually live out. I'm right now. I'm in the sticks of Rhode Island, so things are sort of quiet right now. I'm I'm not in the big bad city, so uh, you know things are things are tranquil, of sorts. What about yourself, sir? Well, I've been. Uh, I live here in Boulder, Colorado, and like everybody else, we're on house arrest. No, not house arrest. Uh, stay at home orders or whatever it is. Stay in place. Um, but it's hard to stay in place, you know, of course we're doing what we need to do. I'm not getting close to anybody, but when you live in such a gorgeous area, I do want to go for hikes and I do want to bike. And uh, as long as I'm biking from six feet from anybody else, I feel like it's at least safe enough for me to do that and stay healthy too, right? I'm with you. I've been, I've been running and awesome. as I'm running, I, sometimes I see people running at me and I have to think about what are the social <laughs> you know, niceties here. And uh, I do my best to go around Tim or her. No boy. Right, right. So what about music? What have you been doing? To, have you been occupying yourself, writing music, playing music, thinking yeah. about music? I'm thinking about music. Um, I'm, uh, I've been going back to classical piano, actually. Um, I haven't played classical in like 20 years. Um, and I'm taking a few lessons online. Um, but I just came out with a new uh, EP called 2020. And so my creative forces were all behind that up until, you know, about a month ago. So I'm kind of taking a break. It's funny, you can see the studio is kind of clean, kind of clean. And you can see that, you know, my creativity is not happening when the studio is clean. Because when I'm in the middle of doing something really creative, there's like wires hanging out everywhere, and like stuff going everywhere. But right now I'm kind of like, okay, I can chill and just relax. But um, I, I know everybody's trying to find new ways to do interesting things online, it seems like. Musically. I think that, you know, I think people would love to just, you know, obviously you were prepped to go out, you'd be out, you know, gigging around this, this time, you know, but yeah, yet yeah. you're home. So what do you know, how do you, how, how have you sort of engaged with that and how have you been occupying yourself? I guess you've been rehearsing, I mean, uh, practicing a little, but what right. is it, a challenge for you as, as a, as a you know, working musician to be sort of ensconced at home? What do you do? I mean... Luckily, uh, String Cheese, we went through our 25th anniversary run last year, and we planned to take six months off from basically December to June, and we saved some money for that. So we were already kind of in a good space planning not to play have any gigs. Uh, KHB, my solo band, had a lot of stuff on the books. Um, and so, yeah, it's been a challenge. I think just uh, thinking of creative ways to, you know, I have this new thing where I do classic string cheese songs called Kyle's Classic Cuts. I put them out every once a week and, and just play music in my basement or I don't know, <laughs> whatever I can do to keep sane. Straight up, what about looking behind me? Of course, you know, we made it, we made it, we made a beer together. Uh, yes. A lovely uh, uh, ground score. What about, you're, you're, a, you're a home brewer. Have you been, have you been uh, brewing up anything? Well, the funny thing is I was about to start home brewing and I, they closed down the, everything in the city. So I did, even our homebrew store shut down. So I was wondering how I could make like beer out of like Cheerios, maybe Cheerios cereal and like parsley. And it might, might be great and it might be awful or I don't really know, we'll find out. <laughs> right, well that's the, right, you said that, right? That's the beauty of, of making beer. And that's like where the affinities with improv is you, I mean, that's like exceptionally bold. <laughs> I can do it and report back. I'll report back to you. Um, be hey, I'm going to play a tune off my new disc called Gotta Figure It Out, but I want to do it on my real piano upstairs. Okay. You hold on. Hold on one second. Absolutely, sir. Okay, I'll run back. <sighs> All right, you can see me? All right, good. All right, Dean, sweet. So this is a new tune off my EP called Gotta Figure It Out. It's a little mashup, here we go. Uh, it's in G, I think. So you 
think you got it all figured out Trying to make it look so easy You're searching for your soul Just something you can believe in So you try, try again Make the music fit in But you gotta start so funky but you know that you're not that lucky you play with heart and that's the start but you still can't find the key but you try try again make the music fit in but in the end my friend don't try so hard Everyone finds their space and take your time, just start trying, you know you'll find your place. So you're working on the same old rhymes and beating up the same old lines. So you try to add more chords in there just to keep up with the times. You try, try again. Everyone finds their space And take your time And just stop trying You know you'll find your place new album 2020 which he which he just put out and unfortunately has not been able up oh, here he is has not been able to support it we're gonna put I'm the back. links down below i'm, I'm not sure there you go that's pretty quick man I, I respect oh, yeah, that. Yeah. You're, uh, you're an athlete <laughs> that's right um well yeah so that imagine that with uh lyle's beautiful voice behind it and all that and some funky drums and that sort of thing but that's the that's the, the basis or that's the basic vibe for that tune 
It's a cool one. That's cool. Uh, and how, when did you when did you write that? How long ago? By the way, um, it's funny. I wrote it for my fifty album, and I wrote it with uh, my my band. And then we kind of said, ah, it sounds too much like a like a, a seventies television show or something. I can't play this. And then once I got Lyle on it, it kind of turned more into uh, a funky '70s vibe, less like a television show. <laughs> so we were able to kind of bring it back together. And it's nice to have things in the back burner. And that's what I'll do probably for the next couple months is go through some of my older material and say, "Oh, I have a good recording of this and never released it. Let's see if I can do something with it now." That'd be cool. You know, toss a few our way. We'll we'll share them with the world. Nice. Um, so yeah that's a tune and like i said lyle from motet sings on it which is fantastic it i kind of wrote it almost to be like the crusaders missing a uh, me meeting like uh steely dan or something kind of new crusaders the funk band from yeah. the 60s so i kind of wrote it with that kind of vibe um i can't really play right here but uh and then lyle came in and did this great crazy background so you don't really hear them in my version you have to imagine that they're there you know, you have a real close relationship with the guys in the Motet, and Dave Watts used to be in this band Chakra that used to play all the time here in New England. That's right? absolutely right. That's absolutely right. So I used right. to see him quite a bit back then. <laughs> I don't and see he, him uh, he, was, he was in my band, uh, Kyle Hollingsworth band, for a while, like five years, him and Garrett. And then uh, the Motet started working a whole lot, so I had to change up the lineup. But but you, yeah, still I, have that, you still have that sort of connection with, like, I think it's great that you have the connection with all sort of your area players are, are part of what's going on like there's that community it's and that's part of you know and i'm wondering if there's something we can do to kind of get uh the community together online or get the bolder people all play music together you need to find the right right app i guess or something but yeah so you're, not, we, you're, you're not otherwise sheltered in place with a random musician in a closet or anything no no not i'm not i do have i do have chickens my daughters got um, baby chicks. I'm hoping they'll walk through the door any minute with my baby chicken so I can show you. But uh, we're, I'm not a farmer. I am a Quaker, but that doesn't mean I'm a farmer. Um, but I had uh, like about five day old chicks and they've been living in the basement. So we've been kind of having that being part of our, our uh, way of keeping us busy. And it's been really beautiful and really fun. And the girls love it because they have nothing else to do all day either. So can we, can we, can we see some chicks? <laughs> you want to see some chicks? Yeah. You want to see some chicks? <laughs> All right, I'll walk to the chick. Joe, walk to me. See, see if we can do this. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you still with me? A little dizzy, but I'm good. Are you still with me? I'm good. We're here. Hold on. Don't, do not, don't look at my garage. Do not look <laughs> at my garage. <laughs> okay. Are you still there? I'm here. Okay. Here are the chicks. I'll see if I can grab a chick for you. Ah! Well, that's bittersweet. Kyle is, uh... Maybe something horrific has happened with one of the chicks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Can you see one? <laughs> oh, yeah! So what, those are how old? How old? Now they're about hmm, about a month. So this one is called Hazy. Hazy. Named after my named after my favorite beer. This is Hazy. I'll put Hazy back right now. It's my favorite style of IPA. Exactly. Speaking of, let's go talk beer. I'm gonna put oh. Hazy back down. Okay. Whoa. Hey girls, I got them. That's okay. <laughs> we'll head back to my beer stash. Nice. <clears throat> Boom, boom, boom. Hopefully you're still with me. And then we'll look here. All the beers. And what's this one? Oh, Whoa. there we go. There Our we collaboration, go. yes. Nice. Ground score. Can you still see me? No, but you're a little bit. Uh... Oh, you might have lost me. No, we. I can hear you. Oh, there we go. Here we go. I'm back again. So here's our collab beer right here. Ground score. Super fun, by the way. One of the most one of the most enjoyable activities of my life. We went out to behind me, the Crosby Hops and the Hop Farm, and we picked the hops. And we went to yeah. Sweetwater and made the beer. That was so fun. That was like a, a two month process, or it was like yeah. we went and looked at the beer. We looked at the uh, hops first, 
and then we came back and brewed it later that uh, that, that season. Yeah, that we can do that. We can do that again, by the way. I'd love to. I'd love to. This is Sorry. so. This is so epic. Even the can is cool looking, right? Yeah. <laughs> do you still have any left? I do. If I had two more, I tell you what. Hang tight. Hang tight. Okay. <laughs> We're all moving around now. We're waiting. While we're waiting, hello, thanks for tuning in. Yes, this is Kyle and Dean talking. Hey. Here. <laughs> I got my, I got your, I, got a, I got your, I match your ground score with my own. <laughs> nice. Yes. Um, I haven't tried it recently. Beer probably has a shelf life and it's probably getting close to being the end of that shelf life for that beer. But it, You know, I had one at the end of, uh, a few months ago, a few months. Oh, at the end of the, at the end of the calendar, all sort of hazy. Speaking of hazy, it's all a little hazy to me now in terms of where we're at. But I had one at the end of December, and it was like maybe slightly turned, but still pretty good. Good, and good. We made it, so that's you know we have that. It's like you know, it's like eating your own macaroni. It's always good. <laughs> macaroni. I wonder if I could brew that. I wonder if that's fermentable macaroni. Not the, look <laughs> the most fermentable things around the house. <laughs> Chicken eggs, no. Um, and then you are still doing your your YouTube your uh, what's name? I forget the name of it. Um, where we played where you played the yeah. the song. Uh, my podcast. Yes, yeah, podcast. Thank you. Long may they run. By the way, I mean we haven't actually I haven't seen you since you did that. That was awesome. So for people who don't know, Kyle performed the theme song to the Long May They Run podcast, which incidentally I'll let you in on this. No one knows this yet. It's actually returning for sort of a mid-season few episodes at the end of April. Uh, and I, don't, I can't say very well, much about it. I followed for a little while. It was fish in the first season. Then you yep. did something different in the second season, right? We're going to do something different in the second season. The full second okay. season is still a few months away. And in between, okay. they sort of dropped in another episode. Uh, they, they, they sort of teased another series from the company, Cadence 13. But... Okay. Uh, our our actual second season proper is gonna gonna hit at the end of the summer, I think, right now. However, at the end of April, we are going to do this mini season, sort of about something that's really important to a lot of us, and we will listen again to your take on uh, one of my favorite songs by Miles Davis. That's right. Um, uh, so, can you do that? I'm, now I'm interviewing you. Can you do that from your home? I imagine you can, right? Or does it take a lot more people to get? I think we can. I, so I was just talking to my producer about this. Or I, I think we can do most of it remotely, the interviews. I think I have to go into a studio because it just for the sound, the narration, I think for that to be crisp, I'm hoping they'll let me, that they'll consider that uh, the good state of Rhode Island will consider that to be important work. It's the Lord's work. So hopefully right. they'll, they'll let me in. Um, it would just be me and like in one engineer, so TBD. But uh, we're definitely just started a special, uh, a special mini, maybe season 1.5, which is going to look at what's happening in the world, in the world of music. And again, we'll have uh, we'll have your music. Hey, look, I see behind you, by the way. Oh, wait a minute! I see people behind me. You, you missed it. We already did the check thing, but we'll do it again. Yay! In case we can cut the other part out or whatever. Here's here's Hazy again. Nice. And Opal. And Opal. These are my daughters. They're taking care of the chickens. This is Zoe. Little hey, Isabel. <laughs> Your daughter's not so young anymore, I guess. <laughs> she is not, but she doesn't have chicks. So uh, your daughter's one. Thank you, guys. All right, so I'm going to run and uh, set up for the next song. I need to set okay. the keyboard. But, uh, all right, we'll be back in one minute, and I'm going to play the next song. The next song I want to play is Stuff, which is off my 50 album. And, uh, and uh, we'll get that going. I'll be right back. Awesome. Oh, right, let's try this one. See if, it, see if it works. Hear me? See me? I hear you. I see you. This is a tune. Uh, from, uh, from my 50 album. Uh, it's called Stuff. Mm -hmm. 
Will my device suffice? Will my OS pass the test? Will my tweet compete? Will you like my post the most? Does my web address and press? If you can, you to share information, negotiations. Charge me up, I'm dying down. You can take my stuff. I don't want it anymore. You can have my things. I'll leave them by the door. I looked a while on your profile. I like to tap that app. So pin it up upon my wall. My text a Skype a call. Follow me, I'll follow you. Add me to your queue. Chat me up, I'm coming down. Hashtag it all around. You can take my stuff. I don't want it anymore. You can have my things. I'll leave them by the door. Stuff and a little, you know, hall notes in the middle, a little rich yeah. girl. You know, to kind of do that, you know, just to make it interesting for the folks. But yeah, so you know, doing things like that on, online is fun. And thanks for having me. This is really great. Sure. Oh, by the way, you know, I failed to mention of the and your your first your first song, your your new song. I heard a little bit of uh, Chicago as well. Uh, a little bit of Chicago. I've been watching a lot of Netflix, as I'm sure everybody else has in the world. And I was watching the Chicago story, and it was really interesting because i had no idea they, they recorded up here at caribou ranch in colorado so there's all these shots of running around caribou totally wasted and playing music and i was like wow that's like right up you know right up the hill so then um and they're following the whole history from super funk horn band to kind of more ballad based thing and, and it was really intriguing 
I mean, I, what do you do? Do you watch Netflix like I do, binge for? A bit. I would point, you know, we're actually in the middle of closing an issue of the magazine because that, that goes on. Yeah. Uh, I do enjoy also to read the books because why not? Who doesn't enjoy the read? You know what I'm reading now? I'm actually reading uh, David Byrne's book, uh, How Music Works Again, which I hadn't read in a while, which is really, really interesting. I did read that. I read that book. <clears throat> and uh, I even highlighted some really great lines, but it's been so long. I forget what I was interested in at the moment, but I was like, wow, that was really well done. I like that book a lot. It's, it's sort of all over the place, but I think he brings up, a, I mean, from all aspects of how music is made to how it's received, it's cool. I mean, it's a little bit dense, but I think for people maybe now, that you're look, people looking for something to do, you have to maybe go slowly or read a chapter and take a break, whatever it's going to be. It's, uh, it sounds right. fun. And oh, speaking of uh, the talking heads, I also have Chris France's new book that's going to that's going to come out is uh, his autobiography. I just finished that as well. I think that's what led me back to David's book because I'm in like I guess I'm in talking heads mode. Um, wait, so how did you get the early copy? I'm a, I, I'm, a, I'm I'm very important. I got connections. I'm, <laughs> I'm the, uh, there it is. They, they they just they told me. There's uh, it's uh, Tina, Tina and Chris. Man in love. Oh, man nice. in love. Yeah. What the world needs now, love. I've been trying to figure out a way to do that song with like different cameras and try to get different guests to sing with me. Do you know the song I'm singing? What the world yeah. now. Um, I don't know if I can quite pull that off. Well, that'd be interesting to check out. What is it about? Have you read the whole thing yet? It just yeah no. It, it, it's sort of it's there. It's there. It's a love story, right? Because they met. They were both students at the. Uh, Riz, Riz, um, Red Riz, um, yeah. Rhode Island School of Design, not so far from me, and then continues on how they met this dude named David, right. and uh, the band, the band goes on, you know, from there, and then it delves into Tom Tom Club and where they're at now. It's really great. I just actually got an email from from them that uh, I guess it was going to come out in May. Now it's going to come out in July, I think. So, right. but when it, I encourage everyone check it out. We're going to do something in relics, I'm sure. But awesome. Awesome. anyhow, let's get back to you, 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 you. So uh, <laughs> do, you, do you have any sense, by the way? People would love to know in terms of, do you, I mean, people love to, are obviously eagerly anticipating the moment where they can return and see you perform on a stage. Do you have any feel for that? Or how do you, how are you approaching that yourself? Um, I guess, first time, I'm gonna figure out what the summer is gonna hold. I, I was assuming everything's going forward in June. I'm not absolutely sure that's happening. So I, the next step is when can we start rehearsing again? Because String Cheese was supposed to be um, uh, starting to gather in early June and start rehearsing for at least a couple of weeks. So we want to make sure that's going to happen. And then, because we're taking six months off. So I guess kind of everybody else is kind of too at this point, but getting our groove back together is going to be the most important thing. Um, I, I am purposely not remembering how to play all those songs. I'm trying to let all those songs go for the first time in 26 years. Um, but getting back together is gonna to be the key to making that good summer, I think, and making sure the energy's high and proficient, you know, proficiency, proficiency is up to where it needs to be. And then KHB, to hear some of the new stuff, what are your, what are you? Exactly. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a minute. We're gonna to have to figure out how that goes. It's probably gonna be late summer into the fall. Um, are you guys uh speaking of my new album you guys uh, premiered one of my favorite tracks on the new album called tough Knoll's retreat i think i sent it to you in a text actually it's an organ based kind of like uh emerson lake and palmer yeah. meets meets boston or something or maybe more so yes and uh and that was a really fun song if you have these people haven't heard it you should go check it out tough Knoll's retreat and i wrote it i called it tough Knoll's because it was so Ah, flamboyant. There were so many different parts and so, it was way over the top. And I was thinking about Nigel Tufnell when he was sitting at the piano and saying, I'm really into Mozart and Bach. This is more of a mock piece, really. <laughs> and I was like, so I was like, the song has many movements. It goes through a classical moment, then there's a 6 8 moment, and then it goes back to like this frenzy thing. Um, so it was, it was kind of a nod to that, that era of the frog organ thing. And I appreciate you guys putting that out there. And, and it was actually the first song I wrote with String Cheese. I brought it in String Cheese and we didn't have time to record it. And there wasn't that much interest. So I said, fine, fine. I'll take it to uh, KHB. And KHB ended up recording it and kind of 
made it what it was. And it was kind of the first co-write between my solo band and String Cheese. And it came out great. I'm hoping Cheese will play it. We'll see if they can rock that heart. <laughs> I will say, you, you sent it to me. Like, you just texted to me originally. And it really yeah. sort of scratches that 70s itch, I think. You know, it's, yeah. it sounds you know, like you, from whence it came, you can, you can hear that. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty Good awesome. I, I played that uh, while, while making dinner on, on multiple <laughs> occasions. It was like, I don't know, it just struck me as dinner music. Nice, nice. Not in a not in a jazz ballad. No, no, no. Like in a you're furby some, like, trying to get up. everything together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way I tend to cook dinner, very sloppily and haphazardly and dangerously, probably more often than not. And that, um, that spoke to yeah. that. Yeah, it's 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 bizarre to kind of come out with a new release, you know, on uh, on the on the edge of when all this started, you know, because I wanted to go out and support it and play all this new music. You know, some might translate to cheese, some might not. So it's going to be like, okay, all right, here comes this new music. Oh, wait. But I mean, honestly, there's a lot more tragic things happening right now. And so I'm not at all, it's, it's the least in everybody's worries. And, and so I'm kind of looking at the bigger picture. My, uh, you know, I'm sure we all have friends that are in the medical industry. They are the real heroes here in my mind. They're like the firemen of 9-11 fire, of in my mind. They're front lines dealing with it straight up. I hats off to them for sure. There is no doubt. You hear some accounts of people just coming home. I just heard something 10 minutes ago, somebody coming home from working in, in Manhattan and just how exhausted he yeah. was. He'd like given it all. And it's, it's, it's pretty extraordinary, literally putting their lives on the line to try literally. to you know, do something for other, for other people. Having said that, we really do appreciate everything you do. We know we're going to pull, put a link to buy 2020 down below so people can pick it up, support you. And, and it's really good music. People should dig it. I want to thank you, Kyle, for spending thank some time with us, sharing your chicks, picking up some beer, playing some music, quality entertainment all around, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you Dean. All right, thank sir. Bye-bye.